Welcome to another episode brought to you by Game Glitches. Today we're looking at Dead Island Epidemic again. Uh, they just released a brand new patch 0.3 where they changed the scenery. It's much better than, in my opinion, than being in some dirty ass bunker. Uh, they rebalanced the classes and added a bunch of new features. For example, uh, before when you used to shop, there wasn't anything under weapons or anything at all. Now they have actually implemented full tier weapons that you could literally just buy out uh, without have to having a pattern, which is actually quite amazing, you know. You just quickly could speed through the game and so on if you have, you know, funds and so to speak. Uh, then, they'll, um, then they also changed the way some blueprints work and also the fact that you can now buy blueprints instead of just hoping and praying to God you're gonna find something cool. Now you can just buy blueprints. Uh, they, haven't really, they haven't really added anything much consumable uh, except for healing patches and I think um, that's pretty much it. What a really interesting feature that I found that they added in was the services. The services, for example, for 34,000, well, dollar thingies, um, what you call it, you're all at the, you're allowed to uh, basically buy uh, different types of services. For example, this one, for the, the top ones are all 30 days, 60 days, and 120 days. That's the only difference. Uh, each one of weekly will give you three and a half thousand dollars cash, uh, you know, 40,000 gear points, 8,800 character points, and so on. As you can see, they all give identical. The same is just once a week. This one is for three months, two months, one month. Uh, this is the what you, this is rewards just purely increased for one day, three days, or seven days. Uh, this is increases how much rewards you will get out of a box. Uh, you know, the, the again, there is no difference which one you get is just all based on how much time honestly passes. Uh, you end up saving a little bit of money between each one of them, but it honestly is not significant enough. Let's put it that way. Uh, they also have added a brand new mode, oh, a, a brand new mode um, called Scavenger, which I'm waiting to, going to try out right now and really looking forward to it. Uh, they also changed the uh, way that the whole workbench looks like a little bit. Uh, you, your inventory is now easily accessible. So you can see how what parts you have rather than looking around in your big ass, you know, basement and not knowing where it is. But I kind of do miss the fact that there is no more the zombie that basically is in the cage and is trying to get out and shit. Come on, that was actually pretty fun and stuff like that. They also have seemed to be added more characters at the shop. Uh, they have added the new the fuse. Uh, he looks like Duke Nukem. You know, come on, really? He does kind of look like Duke Nukem. And they have added Bryce. Uh, they're both ranged characters and basically do a lot of damage. Uh, I really hope they're going to add more melee characters. Uh, like my friend over here, Armored Berg, which I really enjoy playing with. Um, but yeah. And this is uh, one problem that I found with this game is that now this is game is turning more and more into pay to win. Uh, basically, if you can see here, you can buy uh, these gear points with dollar points. To buy dollar points for eleven and a half thousand, it's five dollars and twenty nine cents. For twenty four thousand point uh, dollars in the game, it's ten dollars and fifty cents. And for almost fifty thousand, it's twenty, almost twenty, uh, one and a half dollars. Uh, this game is gonna be, in my opinion, like kind of like Dota, but m uh, worse in a sense that, uh, at least in Dota, you could buy skins and the way your character only looks. Here, you could buy up straight up weapon and gear, and actually obtain enormous amount of advantage against your opponent just because you can put more money than your opponent is into the game itself real physical money not time or effort it's real physical money being put into the game will push you further than somebody who doesn't uh this is why this game is free to play because it's a cash cow
Well, now let's talk about the patch a little. Uh, what I found really interesting that they changed uh, the scavenger mode, the, basically the PvP mode. Uh, they have added a trailer. Uh, you could find all this description, by the way, on their site, or when you actually start the game, you could read it up. But I'll tell you this much, the trailer uh, is much more fun with it. Uh, the fact that you could rob somebody's trailer because that is unprotected goods, uh, unlike being inside the vehicle. Uh, the fact that they have implemented day and night cycles, which is actually quite amazing when they, in the beginning of the game it's uh, like dawn, you know, so uh, you start gathering, it's a little dark and stuff, then it's uh, daylight, you know, then you have to uh, bring stuff back, I would assume, and then they have nighttime, and during nighttime, what's cool about that is that that pesky turret that had buttload of HP that used to be, that used to protect every spawning area now, and the truck and stuff like that, well, now it can be killed because at night it attacks slower, does less damage, but this thing res will still respawn after 40 seconds or so uh it's also fun that they have like implemented these troll things like all players of a team will become visible on the map when a team has enough supplies to win the game and other teams have the, at least uh have well, not at least but have a last chance during the uh 15 seconds to steal supplies from their truck preventing the other team from winning otherwise the uh, team will be the sole winner of the game and the game will end I found that kind of interesting that it allows people that last chance to extend the map to make the life kind of more miserable for the other team. Listen, I was on both ends of that. Uh, they, my life was made miserable and their life was made miserable by this thing. But in the end, it's become so much more fun. Uh, um, another interesting feature that I didn't point out that when all the players of a team have reached the supply area a thick fog is spawned at the entrance uh, of the map making it impossible to run back to the starting zone during the rest of the game they also changed the way the scavenger maps kind of work Redu they reduced uh, from six flags to four flags uh, you know and removed the spawn turret and replaced it with a spawn uh, with it with spawn on a cliff uh, which allows you to basically avoid it much kind of in a way 